Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I cannot wait to show you guys my kind of looped romantic style that I did. And a special shout out to Philip Ring, also known as Phil Does Hair on Instagram, for doing my lovely model Shelly's um, hair color. Doesn't it look awesome? So I can't wait to show you guys this look. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first step to this is we're gonna go ahead and section it out. We're gonna section out the front sections away for later. And this is a great example for what to do um, on someone that is growing out an asymmetrical cut. So she had shaved sides at one time, so this is the side that it was shaved. So you can see how beautiful it will look while it's a little bit shorter than the other side. And split it in horizontal sections, get in there, aggressively tease it. Her hair is very, very fine textured, so we're, that's why we're getting aggressive, because I can tell it won't hold the tease very easily. So now we're gonna create three ponytails, left to right, so one on the left in the center and on the right hand side. We're not gonna use a lot of tension because we don't wanna lose our volume that we created. We're just gonna use some clear hair elastics. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more volume, so I'm just gonna hold on to the base of our pony and just pull it up for a little bit of volume and texture before we finish our hairstyle. Now we're gonna split the right section in half. We're gonna take that section, we're gonna drape it across under our middle, slightly twist it, and then it's gonna go over our left section, fan it out a little bit for some volume. So now that we've split our right side, now you wanna do the same thing with the left side. So split it in half. Now we're just gonna go above and under the right side. Now that we have some longer ends on this side, I'm just gonna wrap it and loop it through. Let's loop up here and bobby pin it into place. And then kind of spread out the hair. So now we have our loop on the right side. We're gonna use some dry texture spray aggressively spray and just kind of spread it out and then behind our ponytail we're going to take the ends of the loop and secure it into place with a bobby pin. Now we're going to start working with our middle section so we're going to split it in half. The right section is going to loop over to our left. The left section is going to loop over to our right. So taking that first right section we're going to drape it over I'm gonna use a little dry texture spray, kind of spread out the hair a little bit, loop it under that first ponytail, bobby pin it into place underneath, now we're gonna start working with our middle section, so we're gonna split it in half, the right section is gonna loop over to our left, the left section is gonna loop over to our right. So taking that first right section, we're going to drape it over. I'm going to use a little dry texture spray, kind of spread out the hair a little bit, loop it under that first ponytail, bobby pin it into place underneath. Then taking the ends, draping it across to the right, and again spreading the hair out. What happened to that middle section? Shit. Oh, it's right here. taking the ends of that and just kind of spreading it out, draping it to our right side, using some of our dry texture spray, and simply bobby pinning it into place. So we're basically just creating little loops. Now we're taking that middle piece, the last piece that's left, 
using some dry texture spray. Spreading the hair out a little bit, fanning it out. We're gonna go under this time, looping it, bobby pinning it on top from underneath. So now we're gonna take that piece from the right and cross it under. So basically we're just keep on creating loops and a beautiful texture. So the ends kind of come up here. So we're gonna go ahead and pin it up, taking your bobby pin and bobby pinning it into place. So now we're gonna take our volume spray by Kinra, spraying our last sections, and we're almost creating ribbons of hair. So we're gonna pin it up and then just place the hair. So we're gonna pin it up where it kind of bends, taking our bobby pin, pinning it into place. Now taking the ends and kind of creating almost like a loop with it. Pinning it up into place. Now we're gonna take our last section and just create another loop. Bobby pinning that into place. And then kind of taking the ends and just kind of visually placing it where you think it looks best. I'm gonna loop this underneath. And then just taking the ends and tucking it under. Then you can always spread out some of your little ribbons of hair. All right, so now we're just gonna use some Silkening Mist by Kenra, just spraying it all over. That's gonna really help smooth any flyaways and just kind of pinch and pulling it up for a little bit of volume and texture before we incorporate the sides. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop the clip from the sides here and work with this section. We're just gonna go ahead and twist it away from the face using some dry texture spray. Then pinch and pulling the surface for a nice romantic texture and then bobby pinning it into place and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Drop the section, twist it away from the face, adding some dry texture spray, and then surface pinch and pull it for some volume and texture, and then bobby pinning it into place, draping it across the head, So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my hairstyle today. Again, thank you Philip Ring for doing Shelly's hair color. It looks awesome. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.